welcome to my channel, Zuri's Adventures. I am Zuri. Um, so this video is about remaking my underflow sluice box. Uh, this is the first one I've made and uh, you can see a video about that one. But this is going to be the new one that I am making right now. As you can tell, all I have in place right now are the two underflow uh, bottom sections and then I got my second piece right underneath it. I actually have my drawing on that one and I just stick it underneath where I can just trace it onto this other one and put everything exactly where I want it. And here's the rest of the pieces that I cut up. So it's kind of like a little jigsaw puzzle. It's a good thing I know where everything goes. And this is just kind of a little update. I will see you soon. So here we are, the next day. I have been slowly working on this thing. Um, as you can see, I almost got the first riffle going down, and then there's the second ripple comes up and then shoots out. And I'm actually gonna add another piece at the end here to stop it from shooting out and make it just go straight down. So, just like this one, it's very convenient. So, once I get done, put in the last piece up here, the big one, and then there's gonna be a little one at the end, hold the water in, and of course I want it to end, so I got three more pieces to add on before I can sand this whole side down and put this bottom piece on, the final piece. And then I just gotta make the little gates that go down, so. This one, you can tell I only used 8 inch plexiglass and this other stuff is actually acrylic and it's almost a quarter inch. It's like 0.22. So, and I'm going to use that as my gates instead. One, they're stronger and I think the water flow might work a little bit better. So. Yeah, those shouldn't be too hard to make. And then I think I'm just going to add some screws like that one right there. I think that would work the best for this. So. So, I am here and I am getting ready to uh, put the other side on this underflow sluice box. I got it right here. So I just wanted to show you something. Uh, let me see if I can get it to focus. See these little lines? It's actually from taking my knife and I've been cutting into it. So when I glue it, it has something kind of to grab onto because this uh, acrylic is kind of like glass, so it's very smooth. And it's amazing what just those little cracks, how much more strength you have. So, if you want to build one of these, just a little hint to help it stay together and be a little bit stronger. Cool.
far. I am done with the second um, underflow cinch box that I have built. I just kind of wanted to show you everything before I start running a little bit of dirt through. Um, as you can tell from this one. From the other one over there that I made it a lot steeper to definitely help keep the material moving. And then also like on the other one, I kind of added that top little riffle going across um, after the underflow sluice box, which I think really helped. So I incorporated that in with this one, as you can tell there, and the one at the bottom as well. So, and another big difference is I made the distance between the two underflow sluice boxes um, a lot farther apart, which also helps the material move along. So, so far, I've done just like two little test runs with just some uh, some dirt that I maybe had gold in it, but nothing really showed up. I found some a little bit of mercury, so I never got a video of it, but I can definitely hope there will be more mercury coming up because I'm pretty sure I saw a lot in this batch of dirt that I'm about to run through and. Hopefully we will see some gold as well. And uh, so I just got a little pump down there going. And then I got this valve for I can control the water speed. And then it goes up to this uh, three-way here. And from here it splits and goes to these two. And I made this before I can take it off, which is really nice. And then you can see it's got the holes on the bottom. So it has a nice spray. And I actually can take this one and put it on my old sluice box. And these are stackable as well. So if I really want to, I could stack these on top of each other and then run it. And then it would be going through four underflow sluice boxes. So better hope that it catches the gold. But yeah, so yeah, that just kind of sticks back in there. You just shove it down in there. And to tie in it, you can just push these two pieces of wood apart because this one actually slides along the these, and this is definitely glued all the way there. So, um, if you guys have any questions or anything about how I built this, um, just send me a comment and um, I'll see if I can help you out. So definitely check out some of my other videos. Um, I'm definitely going to post another video right after this of me going up into Clear Creek with some friends from, family friends from Spain. And we had a great time and that's where we found some mercury and I know we found some gold. So uh, what I'm going to be going through next, just pull it over here without smelling it. is this. So each tower has dirt in it and I've already gone through two towers so obviously the bigger stuff and this is definitely getting, it's smaller so it's 30 so yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this build and enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. I'm going to let you guys go with seeing this thing flow.